Good evening, St. John's. Sorry about the lateness. Um, I was track of time. Uh, but welcome to evening prayer on this uh, Monday evening. Uh, tonight is the of Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist. Um, it's the after the 17th Sunday after Pentecost or the 16th Sunday after Trinity. And today we also commit John Coleridge Pattison, a Bishop of Malaysia and his companions um, who were martyrs. Um, A quick note about uh, Bishop Pattison um, is on a visit to the island of N Naka in the Santa Cruz group. Pattison was, um, he was stabbed five times in the breast in mistaken retaliation for the brutal outrages in some time earlier slave traders. Um, in the attack, several of Pattison's company were also killed or wounded. Um, but Bishop Seluin later reconciled the natives of Melanesia to the memory of one who came to help them. Um, so it's to him and his companions that we write this evening. And uh, now let's be in an attitude of prayer. Jesus spoke to them saying, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will not walk in darkness but we'll have the love of life. Let our prayer be set forth in thy sight as the incense, and let the lifting up of our hands be an evening sacrifice. Amen. Now let us humbly confess our sins to Almighty God. saying together, Almighty and merciful Father, we have erred and strayed from your ways like lost sheep. We have followed too much the devices and desires of our own hearts. We have offended against your holy laws. We have left un those things which we ought to have done, and we have done those things which we ought not to have done. And apart from your grace, there is no health in us. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Spare all those who confess their faults. Restore all those who are penitent according to your promises declared to all people in Christ Jesus our Lord. And grant, O most merciful Father, for his sake, that we may now live a godly, righteous, and sober life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. Grant your faithful people, merciful Lord, pardon and peace, that we may be cleansed from all our sins and serve you with a quiet mind, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. O Lord, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Let us say the Fos Hilarion, O gladsome light. O gladsome light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun and our eyes live for light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised, happy voice, Son of God, O giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. The first psalm appointed for this evening um, is Psalm 104. And we'll also, oh, and so just Psalm 104. Praise the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, my God, you have become exceedingly glorious. You are clothed with mass and honor. You clothe yourself right as with a garment. Spread out the heavens like a curtain. Lay the beams of your chambers in waters and make the clouds of your chariot on the wings of the wind. 
You make winds your measures, seams of fire your ministers. You laid the foundation of the earth, that it never should move at any time. You cover it with the deep as with a garment. Waters stand above the hills, at your rebuke they fled. At the voice of your thunder they hastened away, and up at as high as the hills and down to the valley beneath the place you had appointed for them. You have set bounds for them which they shall not pass, neither shall they again cover the earth. You send the springs to the rivers which run the hills. All beasts of the field drink them, wild donkeys quench their thirst. Beside them shall the birds of the air have their habitation and sing among the branches. Water the hills from above, the earth is filled with the fruits of your works. You bring forth grass for the cattle and plants for the service of mankind, that they may bring food out of earth and wine that makes glad the heart, and oil to make a cheerful countenance and bread to strengthen the heart. The trees of the Lord are also full, are also are full of sap. Even the cedars of Lebanon, which plant, wherein the birds and the fir trees are plain for the stork. The high hills are a refuge for the wild goats, and so are the stony cliffs, badgers. You appoint the moon to mark the seasons, and the sun knows it's going down. You make darkness that it may be night, in which all the beasts of the forest move. The lions run after their prey, seek their meat from God. The sun arises and they go away together and lay themselves down in their dens. Man goes forth to his work, to his labor until the evening. O Lord, how manifold are your works. In wisdom you make, made them all. The earth is full of your creatures. So is the great and wide sea also, in which are things creeping innumerable. Creatures both small and great. There go the ships, and there is that Leviathan, whom you made to make to take its pleasure therein. These all wait upon you, that you may live that you may give them food in due season. When you give it to them, they gather it, and when you open your hand they are filled with good things. When you hide your face, they are in they are troubled. When you take away their breath, they die and are turned again to their dust. When you let your breath go forth, they shall be made, and you shall renew the face of the earth. The glorious majesty of the Lord shall endure forever. The Lord shall rejoice in his works. He looked at the earth, and it trembled. If he even touches the hills, they shall smoke. I will sing unto the Lord as long as I live. I will praise my God while I have my being, and so shall my word please him, and my joy shall be in the Lord. As for sinners, they shall perish from the earth, and the godly shall come to an end. Praise the Lord, O my soul. Praise the Lord. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The first lesson this evening is a reading from the prophet Haggai, beginning with the second chapter, the first verse. Is it in the seventh month, on the twenty-first day of the month, the word of the Lord came by the hand of Haggai the prophet. Speak now to Zerubbabel, the son of Sheltiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Jehozakah, Zadok, the high priest and to all the remnant of the people, and say, Who is left among you who saw this house in its former glory? How do you see it now? Is it not a no is it not as nothing in your eyes? Yet now be strong, O Zerubbabel, declares the Lord. Be strong, O Joshua, son of Jehozadak, Jehozadak, the high priest. Be strong, all you people of the land, declares the Lord. Work, for I am with you, declares the Lord of hosts. 
according to the covenant that I made with you when you came out of Egypt. My spirit remains in your midst, fear not. For thus says the Lord of hosts, yet one more, in a little while I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land, and I will shake all nations, so that the treasures of all nations shall come in, and I will fill the, this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, declares the Lord of hosts. The latter glory of this house shall be greater than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place I will give peace, declares the Lord of hosts. On the twenty-fourth day, after the ninth month, in the second year of Darius, the word of the Lord came by Haggai the prophet. Thus says the Lord of hosts, ask the priests about the law. If someone carries holy meat in the fold of his garment and touches with his, with his fold bread or stew or wine or oil or any kind of food, does it become holy? The priests answered and said, no. Then Haggai said, if someone who is unclean by contact with a dead body touches any of these, does it become unclean? The priest answered and says, it does become unclean. Then Haggai answered and said, So is it with this people and with this nation before me, declares the Lord, and so with every work of this of their hands, and what they offer there there is unclean. Now then consider from this day onward, before stone was placed upon stone in the temple of the Lord, how did you fare? When one came to heap to a heap of twenty measures, there were but ten. When one came to the wine vat to draw fifty measures, there were but twenty. I struck you and all the products of your toil with blight, and with mildew, and with the hail. Yet you did not turn to me, declares the Lord. Consider from this day onward, from the twenty-fourth day of the ninth month, since the day that the foundation of the Lord's temple was laid, consider. Is the seed yet in the barn? Indeed, the vine, the fig tree, the pomegranate, and the olive tree have yielded nothing, but from this day on I will bless you. The word of the Lord came a second time to Haggai on the 24th day of the month. Speak to Zerubbabel, the governor of Judah, saying, I am about to shake the heavens and the earth and to overthrow the throne of kingdoms. I am about to destroy the strength of the kingdoms of the nations and overthrow the chariots and their riders. And the horses and their riders shall go down, every one by the sword of his brother. On that day declares the Lord of hosts, I will take you, O Zerubbabel, my servant, the son of Shealtiel, declares the Lord, and make you like a signet ring, for I have chosen you, declares the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us respond with the Magnificant, the Song of Mary. My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has regarded the loveliness of his handmaiden. For behold, from now on all generations will call me blessed, for he that is mighty has magnified me, and holy is his name, and his mercy is on those who fear him throughout all generations. He has shown the strength of his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. He has brought down the mighty from their thrones and has exalted the humble and meek. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent empty away. He, remembering his mercy, has helped his servant Israel as he promised to our fathers Abraham and his seed forever. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. The second lesson this evening is a reading from the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, according to St. Matthew, beginning with the 15th chapter, the first verse. Then the Pharisees and scribes came to Jesus from Jerusalem and said, why do your disciples break the tradition of the elders? For they do not wash their hands when they eat. He answered them, 
And why do you break the commandments of God for the sake of your tradition? For God commanded, honor your fathers and your mother, uh, honor your father and your mother, and whoever reviles father or mother must surely die. But you say, if anyone tells his father or his mother, what you would have gained from me is given to God. He need not honor his father. So for the sake of your tradition, you have made void the word of God. You hypocrites. Well, well did Isaiah prophesy of you when he said, This people honors me with their lips, but their heart is far from me. In vain do they worship me, teaching as doctrines the commandments of men. And he called the people to him and said to them, Hear and understand. It is not what goes into the mouth that defiles a person, but what comes out of the mouth. Uh, this defiles a person. Then, does, then the disciples came and said to him, Do you know that the Pharisees were offended when they heard this saying? He answered, Every plant that my heavenly Father has not planted will be rooted up. Let them alone. They are blind guides. And if the blind lead the blind, both will fall into a pit. But Peter said to him, Explain the parable to us. And he said, Are you also are you also still without understanding? Do you not see that whatever goes into the mouth passes into the stomach and is expelled? But what comes out of the mouth proceeds from the heart, and this defiles a person. For out of the heart comes evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person, but to eat with unwashed hands does not defile anyone. And Jesus went away from them, from there and withdrew to the district of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman from, the, from that region came out and was crying, Have mercy on me, O Lord, son of David. My, my daughter is severely oppressed by a demon, but he did not answer her a word. And his disciples came and begged him, saying, Send her away, for she is crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But she came and knelt before him, saying, Lord, help me. And he answered, It is not right to take the children's bread and throw it to the dogs. She said, Yes, Lord, yet even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's their master's table. Then Jesus answered answered her, O woman, great is your faith, be it done for you as you desire. And her daughter was healed instantly. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared before the face of all people to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of your people, Israel. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Now, as Christians everywhere have been doing, let us stand together and recite the Apostles' Creed. Saying together, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. With you and with your spirit, let us pray.
Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. The suffrages. <clears throat> that this evening may be holy, good, and peaceful, we entreat you, O Lord. That your holy angels may lead us in the paths of peace and goodwill, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may be pardoned and forgiven for our sins and offenses, we entreat you, O Lord. That there may be peace in your church and in the whole world, we entreat you, O Lord. That we may depart this life in your faith and fear and not be condemned before the great judgment seat of Christ, we entreat you, O Lord that we may be bound together by your Holy Spirit in the communion of Matthew, the Apostle, and Bishop John Calderidge Pat Patterson and his companions, and all your saints, entrusting one another and all our life to Christ. We entreat you, O Lord. A collect for the eve of Matthew, Apostle and Evangelist. Lord Jesus, you called Matthew from collecting taxes to become your apostle and evangelist. Grant us the grace to forsake all covetous desires and inordinate love of riches, that we may follow you as he did and proclaim to the world around us the good news of your salvation. For with the Father and the Holy Spirit you live and reign, one God now and forever. Amen. A collect for Monday after the 17th Sunday after Pentecost, or the 16th Sunday after Trinity. O Lord, you have taught us that without love, all our deeds are worth nothing. Send your Holy Spirit and pour into our hearts that most excellent gift of charity, the true bond of peace, and of all virtues, without which whoever lives is counted dead before you. Grant this for the sake of your Son, Jesus Christ who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Almighty God, or a, a collect for John Coleridge Pattison, Bishop of Melanesia, and his companions, martyrs. Almighty God, you gave your servants John Coleridge Pattison and his companions boldness to confess the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ, before the rulers of this world, and courage to die for this faith, grant that we may always be ready to give a reason for the hope that is in us, and to suffer gladly for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A Collect for Peace O God, the source of all holy desires, all good counsels, and all just works. Give your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and that we, being defended from the fear of our enemies, may pass our time in rest and quietness. Through the merits of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Amen. A Collect for Mission O God, you manifest in your servants the signs of your presence. Send forth upon us the spirit of love, that in companionship with one another, your abounding grace may increase among us. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. For trustfulness in times of worry and anxiety. Most loving Father, you will us to give thanks for all things, to dread nothing but the loss of you, 
and to cast all our care on the one who cares for us. Preserve us from faithless fears and worldly anxieties, and grant that no clouds of this mortal life may hide from us the light of that love which is immortal, and which you have manifested unto us in your Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. At this time, you may lift up any intercessions or thanksgivings you have, either silently or out loud. Lord, we continue to lift up to you um, those that are suffering because of civil unrest in Myanmar and in Afghanistan, and for those who are suffering um, because of the earthquake in Haiti, and for those that are suffering um, because of immigration status where they feel no longer welcome in their homes. Help us to provide new homes for those people and to comfort those that are sick or afflicted or without home or find that they no longer have a home. These things we ask and we also pray for the continued fellowship of all Christian people and that we may strengthen your church here in Utah and guide the people of Utah, by your Holy Spirit, onto the path of truth and peace. These things we pray in the name of your Son, Jesus Christ. Amen. Now let us respond with the general thanksgiving. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, we, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love in the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. A prayer of St. John Chrysostom. Almighty God, give us grace at this time with one accord to make our common supplications to you. And you have promised through your well-beloved Son that when two or three are gathered together in his name, you will grant their requests. Fulfill now, O Lord, our desires and petitions, as may be best for us, granting us in this world knowledge of your truth and in the age to come, life everlasting. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. May the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you for tuning in. Um, I hope you all have a wonderful week. Um, I apologize again about the late start. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow morning. God bless. And good night.